Hello, I'm Natasha, and today I'm gonna to make red velvet cake. Smile and everything. Okay, so she is going to bake a red velvet cake today. Um, the first thing you do is to preheat oven to 160 degrees and then you grease the pan with butter. You grease like the pan this. generously with butter like this. Okay, and then you have got, what do you have? Butter. 100. 170 grams of butter 170 grams of butter 200 grams of sugar, grams of sugar. okay uh, what is the first thing you have to do in the mixing bowl cream butter and custard sugar together using medium speed for 10 minutes so or until sugar. light and fluffy so what are you doing now i'm putting the sugar and the butter and i'm going to cream it okay Putting in, and she has got a nice win punya my masak masak apron with the name Chef Natasha on it. <laughs> Compliments from mommy. Yeah. Okay, put in the butter and the sugar, and then you're supposed to cream it, right? Okay, put it down. What number are you using? Uh, start with a one. Start with one. Mix it well, right? Yeah. And then you're supposed to go to speed four. Oh, then you go to speed four. For how long? For ten minutes. About ten minutes lah, until it is uh, fluffy, right? Yes. Creamy and fluffy. Okay. Now it is. You have to continue to beat on six on speed six so it's really really fluffy. Okay. Now that it is light and fluffy, reduce the speed one. to one and add and the add egg. In. How many eggs? Three eggs. Three eggs. One at a time. Okay. Add in three eggs, but one at a time. Look at the world's prettiest baker. Let it a bit right. mix it well. So you have to scrape it down a bit. Scrape it down. And let it mix a bit. For a little while, and then we shall then add the flour, the flour cocoa powder, baking powder. Okay, how much flour is that? 360, 360 grams, grams of all purpose flour, 30, 30 grams gram as cocoa, cocoa powder, powder, and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Oh, 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Inside Mix here. it all together. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then, of course, you also have 180 grams, grams of okay. yogurt, uh -huh. 180 grams milk, 3 tablespoons red food coloring, this particular one here, 
add one teaspoon vanilla in here and you have to stir it together. Okay. When the eggs are incorporated well, add in the flour and the the the, the stuff here alternately alternately. Can you repeat how much of flour again? 360 grams flour, 30 grams cocoa powder, and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, so what is inside this red thing here? Yogurt, 180 grams yogurt, any kind, 180 grams milk, 3 tablespoons red food coloring, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Do you need to turn it off to scrape it down? Yes. Okay. Okay, and then you have to add in ba uh, 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 baking soda, half um, teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon of white vinegar. One teaspoon or one tablespoon? Tablespoon. One tablespoon of white vinegar and half, half teaspoon, teaspoon of baking soda. Ooh. Wow, are you in the lab? Doing yeah, some I, science I, I, experiment. Oh, okay. And then what do you do with that? And you pour it into pour here. Pour it in here, okay. Okay, so the batter is done. Now we have two pans here, one bigger and one smaller. Now we're going to weigh the batter into the pan. For the bigger pan, 1,120. Including the, the pan? Including the oh, pan. Oh, okay. And a smaller pan, 940 grams, including the pan. Alright, we should do that now. The first, this bigger pan is 1,120 grams. Oh, okay. And that includes the weight of the pan as well. Okay. It's dripping. It's dripping. 
It's dripping at the side. Is it exactly the same? Normally, um, the balance would it be what you are supposed to weigh in? Yeah. 940 gram? Yeah. It's like you have would have scrapped everything in there, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. It won't be like, is there an occasion where there's not enough? No. No. Unless you don't, unless you tear it. Lah. Ah, unless you measure the first one wrongly, right? Well, the cake is baking. What do we do while the cake is baking? We do. We make the French buttercream icing. icing. Uh huh. What do you need for French buttercream we icing? Milk. Uh, one and a half cups milk. Eighty gram flour. Hundred eighty gram. Hundred eighty gram. Custard sugar. Okay, so you put the flour and the cluster, custard sugar into the pan and you. And I stir it. You stir it. Oh, okay, stir the flour and the icing sugar first, right? Yeah. Ooh. And then after that, you stir it a bit to combine, lah, right or not? Yeah. Then after that, what do you do? We add the milk gradually. Mm. Oh, add the milk. Oh, so you just stir it until it's lump free, lah, right? Yes. Uh, after that, what do you do now with we it? Bring it to the heat. Ah, I gotta cook it? Yes. And then cook it on medium heat and stir until a bit thick, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see that. Oh, so you transfer the whole pot to a um, hot plate or. Stove. Stove to actually cook it until it is? Lumpy. Yeah. Yeah, until it's a bit thick, right? Yeah. It's a bit thick. Mm, okay, okay. So you keep on stirring it now. Yeah. Mm, so this is actually for the buttercream. French buttercream is cooked this way, right? Oh, so you have to cook until it thickens now. Yeah. Now it's thickening. Yeah. How thick should it be? Until there's no more. Uh. Ah, it's thickening already. Uh, is it okay already like this? Is it thick enough? It's right? Mm. So it has got lines now. Oh, it's really thick now. Is it good enough? Yes, it's finished. It's done. Oh, how thick is it? Let me see how thick is it. Oh, it's still, you're still able to, it's still dripping lah. So let's just go to And now uh, I'm putting it in. Transferring into yeah. this mixer. Ah. Transfer into the mixer while this. Still hot? Still hot to cool it down, right? Yeah. Does it look like it's too thick or this is okay? This is okay. This is normal, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. The pot turns a little bit brown.
Oh, so you turn it to speed one and beat, not beat la, actually to cool down. to cool down the paste before adding in the butter. butter. How many gram of butter? Five hundred grams of butter for your butter cream. Okay. When the roux has cooled down, now we add the vanilla extract and the butter into the roux. How much? One teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And, and then what? 100 grams of butter. 500 grams of softened butter, right? Yeah. So drop in slowly, right? Oh, let me see. Are we at the right speed now? Yes, we are at the right speed. So this is French buttercream icing and you have to cook the roux, flour, sugar and water. And how long do you have to beat this? Until it's fluffy? Until it's fluffy and white color. 